We're here with Dr. Nathan Zasler um, at Concussion Care Center, and um, he's an expert in brain injuries, and we would like to talk to him today, and I would like to start with maybe you telling people a little bit about yourself. Sure. Good morning, and thanks for coming today and doing this interview. Hopefully it will be helpful to those who view it. My name is Dr. Nathan Zassler. I'm a specialist in physical medicine and rehabilitation, what's called a physiatrist, although people get confused with that term. So basically a rehab physician. My focus throughout my career has pretty much been brain injury medicine. So caring for people after acquired forms of brain injury, most of that being traumatic. And um, I did fellowship training at VCU after finishing my residency there, and then stayed on at VCU for a number of years in academic medicine, and then transitioned to private practice, have worked at Sheltering Arms, which I'm sure most people know, and then opened my own clinic called Concussion Care Center of Virginia, and that was in 1992. And in 1998 started a program called Tree of Life which does long-term care for more catastrophic or severe brain injury patients and also what's termed transitional neuro rehabilitation which is a type of rehab after the acute care rehab hospital to continue working on therapeutic goals and rehabilitation with the goal of getting the person back to home or community and back to work. Well, thank you. And so tell us a little bit about what you're doing today at Concussion Care Center. So Concussion Care Center focuses on outpatient management of brain injury related problems. So that can be anywhere from milder injuries or concussions to outpatient follow-up of people who've had more severe brain injuries, moderate to severe and even people with so-called disorders of consciousness. So the focus of this practice is probably predominantly post-concussive care. So evaluating, determining if the problems are related to the concussion, um, determining what other injuries the person sustained. So one of the things we see commonly with those patients is neck injuries, so-called whiplash. And oftentimes that's inadequately assessed by clinicians and often is a <clears throat> origin of symptoms that get missed and inappropriately labeled as post-concussive. So headache being the big one, oftentimes from the neck, not from the concussion, um, yeah. as one example. Um, Concussions can cause an array of symptoms. They can cause visual symptoms. They can cause problems with your inner ear, what's called the vestibular system. They can cause audiological symptoms, so problems with hearing, like tinnitus or buzzing in the ear, headaches, as I mentioned before, very common, noise and light sensitivity, also quite common, sleep problems. They can even have smell loss, which is um, a challenging problem because people don't realize how much they rely on their smell till they don't have it. Um, those are probably some of the more common problems that I deal with in my everyday practice. What type of treatment, I should say? Um, treatment approaches are variable depending upon which of those issues are problematic. So. For example, with headache, if it's migranous, you treat it one way. If it's coming from irritation of nerves in the back of the head, what are called the occipital nerves, that's treated typically through either what's called neuromodulation, so external stimulation of the nerves, or injection therapies, which I do here in the office. Mm -hmm. um, you can also have um, PT interventions, physical therapy interventions for cervicogenic headache. Um, tension type headache is treated a totally different way, but you want to make sure that there aren't other factors complicating the presentation. Um, so there is an array of things, some of which have pretty good assessment methodologies or ways to look at them, others not so much, and um, many of those problems have no 
unfortunately standardized treatment approach, but for most of them there are treatment approaches. There's just not consensus as to what's the best way to manage some of those problems. problems. One thing we didn't talk about was cognitive impairment or problems with thinking, which is one of the most common types of complaints that people have. Again, it's important to segregate out as much as possible what are the causes of that cognitive impairment. So if somebody's depressed or has post-traumatic stress disorder or chronic pain related to bad daily headaches, all those things can also muddy the water as far right. as cognitive function. So part of addressing the cognitive aspects is really making sure you've treated all the other things, sleep being another mm -hmm. big one. How long does a concussion last? What, what's the, the time frame generally that you're speaking about? As far as the typical time course or what we call natural history of concussion recovery, most people after a single concussion, which is important to make that caveat, get better within days to weeks. Um, but there are a sector of patients who take months to get better, and some, although I think the number's small, who have persistent symptoms beyond a year, not always related to the brain injury itself. But I'm not saying they couldn't be, right. but sometimes it's related to other aspects of the injury. You want to do what you can to not get a concussion. And once you have a concussion, statistically, you're at greater risk for another one. Uh, we've talked about, a little bit about the treatment plans, but do you do all of that here at um, Concussion Care Center, all the, the therapies and all the, the yes. pain management? Um, I do. The I have a prior certification in pain management, so that's a particular area of interest of mine. I have a physical therapist here who works with me. I will refer out if I need specialist evaluations like a neurooptometrist or an audiologist, but typically I'm the doc who stays the doc right. and drives the ship. So given my training and focus on brain injury medicine, I deal with the psychiatric aspects, the pain aspects, the rehab aspects, the neurological aspects. Um, the orthopedic aspects, unless it's something surgical orthopedically. Okay, everyone, that is uh, Nathan Zasler, and I want to thank you so much for giving us um, that information about concussion care today, and thank you for being here. You're welcome, and if folks who watch this have questions, please feel free to call my office and get further information. Thank you. Thank you.